NASA's Themis mission has overturned a long-standing belief about the interaction between solar particles and the Earth's magnetic field. The Earth's magnetic field is like a giant bar magnet. This magnet forms a protective field around the Earth, shielding us from the solar wind that is constantly streaming towards Earth. This shield is called the magnetosphere. The solar wind is primarily composed of protons and electrons, charged particles streaming out from the sun. Some of those particles have very high energies, radiation energies, and they can damage astronauts and spacecraft. We are shielded by our Earth's magnetic field most of the time. However, a small fraction of the solar wind particles get into the Earth's magnetic field, are energized, and become the Earth's radiation belts, which can damage spacecraft and harm astronauts. But the Sun has a magnetic field of its own as well, which the solar wind carries outwards towards Earth. And the Themis spacecraft fleet recently observed that 20 times more solar particles get into the Earth's magnetosphere when the Sun's magnetic field aligns with that of the Earth than when they're pointed in opposite directions. In the past, researchers found that the energy from the Sun gets into the Earth's magnetic field during periods when the Sun's magnetic field points southward. Here we found that the particles get in, the plasma, the particles from the Sun, get into the Earth's magnetic field when the Sun's magnetic field points northward. For a long time, people have known that the location where particles and energy get into the Earth's magnetic field depend on the orientation of the Sun's magnetic fields, but they just hadn't realized how many particles get in for the northward orientation of the Sun's magnetic field. So what do these new findings mean for us here on Earth? Well, with this new information, scientists can make better predictions about when solar storms will be severe meaning we can better prepare for the power outages, satellite damage, and other problems that these storms can often cause.